ready for some football? Yes, the NFL is finally back, and week one kicks off this week. And guys, it's going to be very, very big, and we're so excited at Zico System to have the NFL back. It's been so long since we got to watch some good regular season gridiron action. Guys, Zico System is going to be with you all season long with NFL picks and predictions and videos so you can get all of the up-to-date information and some great sports betting predictions uh, for each NFL game week. Guys, go over to the blog, check out our latest blogs. As you can see there, the NFL predictions week one, and we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Rams and their upcoming game against the Carolina Panthers and a couple of other games in this video. But if, if you go to the Z Code System website right now, you can see two blogs that we've already posted for this big week one of Gridiron Action in which you will be able to get eight great predictions from our staff of writers. So as you can see there, the Rams in Carolina, which I wrote about earlier today, and one of our other authors at uh, Z Code System wrote about the Steelers and Patriots game that will be coming up, and that's a huge game uh, going on. And if you've looked at the uh, week one schedule, there are some really big games going on this week. Uh, as well as the those games that I've just mentioned, uh, the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles will be playing, and you can check that out in uh, the, one of the blogs that we have already posted. So get your information there. So guys, let's take a look at three games that are going to go on on our during NFL Week One this weekend. So as you can see here, I have the VIP picks wall up, and I just want to go down here to our tab and I'm going to find the Rams and the Carolina Panthers and they're going to be going at it this weekend week one and as you can see there we have our score prediction with Z code system the Rams winning by 10 points 26 16 is our score prediction now this is going to be a very intriguing game the Rams of course are the Super Bowl runners up they lost last year to the New England Patriots in the Super Bowl and, um, you know, there could be a bit of a hangover there for the Rams. The Rams do go into the season as plus 550 to win the NFC for a second straight year. Now, that's the second best odds behind the New Orleans Saints, who everybody is getting pretty uh, amped up about down there in the Big Easy. The Rams will be going up against the New Orleans Saints in week two. And uh, they have a pretty bit of a they have a difficult start to the season. They're going to go away to Carolina then they've got the Saints and then they've got the Cleveland Browns who a lot of people are uh, hyping up uh, this season. So very difficult start for the Rams. You can see Burning Hot carrying on from uh, from last year, but uh, they've won their last two preseason games going into the season. Panthers, they missed out on the playoffs last year. Two games under 500, finishing 7-2. and two. Some people saying that the Panthers had a bit of a um, off season. It's not typical of uh, this Panthers team. Cam Newton will have them back. Uh, back to their best, you know, not so sure about that. Uh, there might be a few more question marks with that Panthers team. Uh, the Rams with that fantastic offense from last year. Love that offense and love that Todd Gurley. How will he hold up this season with his health? We'll wait and see. Um, how many snaps will he get or how many downs will he play for the Rams in week one? Well, again, we'll wait and see. Uh, let's just take a quick look at the head-to-head -head between these two teams They've not played since 2016. As you can see, the Rams won that, or sorry, the Panthers won that game away, uh, and they won the game before that in 2013. But this is a different Rams team than that from back then. And I fully believe that the Rams will pick up a victory in Carolina, and they'll start the season very well. Again, like I said, very tough start to the season with the Saints coming up after this. So the Rams really have to start well. And uh, as uh, one of the articles I read earlier from uh, USA Today, I believe it was, this is a statement game for Carolina, and I don't think they're going to make the statement that they want to make. Uh, the Rams are going to pick up the victory in this game and uh, move to 1-0 and on the season to begin. All right, let's check out a another big game that's going on, but let's move over to the AFC this time. As you can see, we've got our drop-down box, and I want to talk about the Tennessee Titans and the Cleveland Browns. And uh, I'm very, very intrigued by this Cleveland Browns team uh, this season because the Browns have been hyped up. Uh, the Browns finishing last season 7-8-1, and a um, bit unexpected. Baker Mayfield really having that breakout season once he uh, got into the starting lineup and he started to uh, assert himself. 
Uh, Cleveland made a coaching change midway through the season. New coach in there this year, a new offense. Odell Beckham Jr. has joined, um, but he might not play in this first game. August 14th, he was reported as injured and questionable for this weekend. That's the last report I have seen from CBS Sports. So not sure if he's going to play. That does take a weapon away from uh, Baker Mayfield this week. And as you can see, uh, Browns posting three wins in the preseason, beating Washington, uh, Indianapolis, and Detroit. So, um, and uh, losing by one point to the Buccaneers. So, really like this Browns team, but this could be a tricky game for them going up against Tennessee Titans. Tennessee finished 9-7 and seven last season, just missing out on the playoffs. Uh, I think they were beaten out by the Colts, if uh, my memory uh, if my memory is correct, uh, just beaten out by the Colts, who also finished 9-7. and seven. So, again, this is also a statement game for these two teams. Tennessee could really upset the Browns and, um, you know, throw a wrench in the in the gears uh, for the Browns this season to, to start things off. But, um, like I said, I'm quite high on this Browns team. And just to look at the head-to-head real quickly before I give you my prediction, as you can see, the Tennessee Titans have won the last two games. Uh, these teams have played not since 2017 have they played um, at that. Um, but... The Browns have picked up two wins in their last five games against the Tennessee Titans. I really like the Browns in this game. I think Baker Mayfield and and his team can continue on for what they've been doing, what they did last year. And uh, I think they're going to get a win here. Though I do, uh, you know, don't get me wrong, I could see a Tennessee Titans upset in this game. But my, my head goes with the Browns. Home team. Home teams do very well in the NFL. I'm going the Browns on this one, and uh, let's just take a look at that score prediction one more time, and uh, Zico system predicts Browns 39, Tennessee Titans 17, so that's our score prediction there. So I'm going Browns on this one, and uh, perhaps you will too. Now let's look at one more game this week, guys, and we're going to stay with the uh, AFC on this one, and we're going to look at two teams from the AFC West, and no, that's not the Kansas City Chiefs, uh, nor... nor the Los Angeles Chargers. Uh, You can see the Chiefs prediction over on one of our other blogs, uh, our other week one blog. But I'm going to take a look at a game between two old school AFC West rivals, and that is going to be the Denver Broncos and Oakland Raiders. Now, I grew up in Missouri, not too far away from the Kansas City Chiefs and the Kansas, uh, Kansas City. So I grew up watching a lot of AFC West games, and this is one of those games uh, or series, you know, I saw growing up as a kid so many times uh, (laughs) through my lifetime. And, um, you know, it's unfortunate that neither of these teams were very good last year and probably not going to be very good this year. Um, So, you know, uh, that's unfortunate for fans of both the Broncos and the Raiders. Now, the Raiders go in, as you can see there, the Z Code System score prediction 25 to 14 uh, to pick up the win. Now, the home team, as you can see, the Broncos, ice cold, awful, awful, awful. Uh, as you can see here uh, through the head-to-head, the home team has won the last six games. As we can go down there, the home team has won the last six games between these two teams. So I'm going home team on this one as well, Oakland Raiders to win this game. Now, Oakland won just one game last season against an AFC West rival. Who did they beat? Well, they beat the Broncos. And the uh, Raiders went 1-5 in the Uh, AFC West Uh, Broncos. They went two and four in the AFC West. As you can see there, one of those wins was against the Raiders at home. Uh, So I'm definitely going here with a Raiders win and to keep that uh, home record, that home trend, as we can see, we can see this big trend here in uh, the series between the Broncos and the Raiders going with that home trend, Oakland Raiders to win this game. And, and uh, let's look at that score prediction just one more time. And uh, as you can see, that 25-14 Raiders to win and to uh, get off to a a good start there with John Gruden as head coach again. All right, guys, those are our predictions for NFL Week 1, at least my predictions that I'm sharing with you through our video this week. Now, of course, you can go back to the blog. And as I said before, we've got our predictions here, my uh, my recent blog that I wrote. Uh, but you can also check out uh, one of our other blogs here with some more games for NFL Week 1. And I believe eight games in total have been predicted and shared with you guys. So you can go there and get 
most uh, most of your information this week and uh, some help with making your educated bets for NFL Week 1. Guys, good luck this weekend. It's a huge weekend. We're all so excited about it. And uh, stay tuned to Z-Code System for all of your NFL betting needs, wants, and desires. Guys, we'll see you next week. Good luck, and uh, I hope you win some money.